Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Adrienne, and if you're feeling my vibe, please subscribe. Today we have... Get into the point. Dion, my husband. <laughs> Today we are going to be repotting our indoor plants. We have three beautiful new trees that we have that are still in their planters. As you can see behind us, that is a ginormous window that we have. And the dogs just go ballistic every time somebody walks by. So we're gonna be replanting them today and putting them in these beautiful vessels in hopes that our dogs won't push them out the way. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna insert an inspiration photo right here of what I have in mind. So tell me guys, do you enjoy having real indoor plants or are you more of an artificial plant person? Because for me, I love having an indoor plant. At first it wasn't very feasible because our dogs would just eat them. <laughs> I had this beautiful, beautiful like viney, what was it called? I forget what it's called, but it starts with a P and my mom gave it to me as like a housewarming gift when I first moved here to Philly and they ate it. I came home from work one day and it was just all over the floor. <sighs> all the dirt, everything. Just, oh, it was devastating. And they still try to eat the dirt today, but once they're in their containers, hopefully they won't eat the dirt. <laughs> Here's one of our plants. I don't have any names for them just yet, but this is our bird of paradise. Leave in the comments down below what you want us to name these plants. Guys, you want to believe where I found this. I found this beauty in not Home Depot, not Lowe's, but Facebook Marketplace. You want to believe how much we paid for these? And no, it's not a lot. We paid very little for them. Mm -hmm. Normally, the prices that we were looking at for a fiddle leaf fig were like upwards of $200, but the minimum for a plant this size was like $7,500, mm -hmm. which is, I find to be like absolutely ridiculous, but I totally get it. It's a hype. Everybody's using them in their interior design and it's all over people's Pinterest mood boards and all over Instagram, but we paid $15 for this, okay? $15 cares. $15! $15! A steal! We had to drive like an hour for okay, it, we, though. So. Worth it, worth it, completely worth it. We went to like the middle of nowhere behind somebody's driveway. But you know what? $15 for a fiddle leaf fig, you guys. Facebook Marketplace, that's where it's at. And then we have this plant right here, Bird of Paradise. Take a guess, how much you think we paid for this one? Let us know down below, real quick, before we even say the price. You guys already know the price of this one, $15. So. How much do you think we paid for this one? Which is also really pricey other places. You have five more seconds. $22, you guys. $22. All right, and this one we didn't get off the of Facebook Marketplace, but we did get it for a really awesome price. We got it for $13. At Sam's Club. Sam's Club always has really great deals when it comes to their plants. I have a huge peace lily up in our bedroom, and we also got her at Sam's Club for, I want to say also? 15 bucks. Yeah, around that price, which is awesome. It's a great price for these kinds of plants, because normally something like this goes upwards of $25 and beyond. But this is our yucca plant. She's beautiful. She's a little tilted right now. Oh, it's a girl. Okay, it could be a boy. I don't know, we don't have names for them yet. But yeah, it's tilted. <laughs> it came that way, but we'll fix that when we replant it. All right guys, so these are plant saucers, also known as trays. Um, we got the super inexpensive kind at Lowe's. They're about $2 each, so we got the 17 inch and the 14 inch. We originally were gonna put the 17 inch underneath this bad boy here, but turns out the 14 inch fits perfectly with it. The reason why you should have a plant saucer is so you can measure how much water your plants are getting. So that way you can see just how much water your plant is getting. This should tell you if you're 
put water in it, if it's sitting in too much water, if it's not getting enough water, also your dirt will tell you that as well. You just have to make sure you're not overwatering your plants. <laughs> so this helps you ensure that and it also keeps your floors from becoming damaged. So if you guys haven't seen my last video explaining why he is in this beautiful cone, it's because he has a hot spot and I'll also link that video up here and down here. Um, but yeah, he has a huge hot spot that he wouldn't leave alone and it just kept, it just kept getting bigger. As you can tell, they love the window and this is why we're putting these in front of the window. And also because the plants really love the sunlight and direct sunlight. We have these beautiful panels from Ikea um, that filter the light, but also, what are you eating? Yeah, they were super inexpensive individually, and if you don't have a window as big as we do, then it definitely won't cost you an arm and a leg. I think we paid maybe like $150 for like the whole system. Um, but in comparison to getting custom treatments, this was a good alternative. I would still like to invest in getting some custom floor here, just so that way, if this doesn't work out, we can find something else to have left these, these babies. We're gonna be putting our bird of paradise into this big one. Um, we originally were gonna put the fiddle leaf fig in here, but turns out the bird of paradise, their roots need more room, so that is where we're putting it at. For this planter, we're gonna be putting Figaro potting mix. We got this from Home Depot, and we're also gonna be mixing it with topsoil. topsoil. We're gonna be using this topsoil from Timberland Soil. Just your plain old topsoil. We also got this at Home Depot. No, it's, this video is not sponsored by Home Depot, Lowe's, or any of these companies. But you know, if you guys want sponsoring, please go ahead and do that. <laughs> and now we're from our sponsors. <laughs> My own wallet. But in all seriousness, if any of these brands would like to sponsor any of our videos, we love doing this all the time. We're actually in the process of building a raised flower bed in our back. Yeah, reach out to me. My email is in the about page. All right, so here's something I learned. You know how people put pebbles or like rocks on the base of the planner mm -hmm. to give it like an aesthetic or something like that? Yep. All right, and they say it helps with drainage? Bull. <laughs> it's bull. So I was watching this YouTuber. I'm gonna try to find him. I'm gonna link it right here. He says it's a terrible idea to have rocks or pebbles in there because it actually helps retain moisture and it doesn't help with drainage at all. It promotes root rotting and you don't want that for your plants. So what you're gonna wanna do now is create like a pit. Break up these clumps. We're gonna go ahead and take our tree. Take some of that dirt. Loosen this up. And try and get it out of here. <laughs> sure to not rip the roots because if you ruin the root system you've ruined the whole plant So what can we do to fix that? You add more soil. Because right now he's not he's not steady. He needs more support. So you're just gonna need more soil. Are you gonna put a stick and wrap it around? Well he doesn't need a stick right now. He already has his own stick. That's okay. uh, sturdy enough. I 
Ideally, you would want to be wearing gloves, but I don't have gloves. <laughs> and honestly, you don't really need them if you don't care about getting down and dirty. I don't. I like playing with dirt. All right, guys, if you're into gardening, if you're into planting, do not throw these plastic buckets away. They are a lifesaver and they save you so much money in the long run because when you save them, you can take another plant or propagate one of the plants that you already have and plant them in here. So keep these handy. So I'm gonna fill this up. I'm not gonna put this on the cart because it's way too big for me to lift. smell of moist dirt. Yes. <laughs> That's what you're trying to say. Yes, but it's... No, it's... Yes and no. Show us those hands. Oh, look at my fingernails. That's really uncomfortable. I mean, what happens if we plant this guy? Will you grow bigger? <laughs> Guys, so if you're in the city of Philadelphia, you can actually get free dirt from Fairmount. Um, all you have to do is show them your ID that has your address on it, obviously. You have to be a resident of Philadelphia in order to get free dirt. You can get up to 30 gallons. Is it gallons or tons? Gallons. Yeah. You can get up to 30 gallons of free dirt, and then after that, I think it's like $50 for... I forget how many tons, but it's like tons of dirt. It's $50 for... X amount of tons of dirt, and I will have that link down below. Yeah, that's a great resource. We actually did not do that for this project because we're saving that for our raised flower bed. We spent about $25 on the soil. We have two, three bags of soil. This planter we got at Home Goods for $60, and then that planter for the yucca is in now. We also got our home goods. We got it for twenty-four dollars. Home goods is where it's at for planters like this. They're super inexpensive and they're great quality. Look at it. It's beautiful. Look at it. All right, let's put the burger in here. So I'm gonna put the total cost of this project. So again, just loosening up the soil, trying not to disrupt the root system in place.
the way, this tarp that we used, we got it at Home Depot and it's biodegradable and this is what we're gonna be using to line our raised bed. And here's the final product. This one, we didn't do anything to it because they're still looking for it at home. But here they are. Oh, I'm so happy about it. It looks so good. It looks so good. <laughs> I can't wait for these beautiful plants to just continue to grow and just flourish. It's gonna be amazing. Now that we have them in their homes, I'm gonna go ahead and water them because that's what you have to do once you transfer them into their new homes. So that's what you're By the way, if anybody wants to get me a beautiful watering can, I would really appreciate it. Right now, this is what I'm using. <laughs> Alright guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something today. Please let me know down below if you guys would like more tips and tricks on how to take care of your indoor plants or even outdoor plants. We have a ton of outdoor plants right now and fruits and veggies that we're growing. I have a few up on the roof and I also have quite a few out back. Um, yeah, just let me know down below and I'll definitely make a video about that. But yes. Thank you again so much for tuning in and watching. I really appreciate you guys. And thank you so much for 230 subscribers. It's so exciting. <laughs> Almost to 500, you guys. Almost. I really appreciate every single one of you guys. Thank you so, so much for your support and just for your time. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe if you're feeling my vibe. <laughs> I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.